Look how beautiful that is. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we are talking new makeup and we're doing a more fall themed makeup look using all new makeup products. I'm really excited we did this look. We did a little smoky-ish, bronzy-ish, I don't know. I guess you could call it like some version of the latte makeup, even though it's just a brown eyeshadow, so you know, but I loved creating this look. I really, I feel like some of these products are just really, really good. I think a lot of you are gonna love them. The blush is doing its thing, but it's not overtaking. I don't know. This is such a good fall makeup look and I really enjoyed testing out these products for you guys. I would love to know down below what other products do you want me to test out and do like a comprehensive video using um, because I love doing these like collective, like a six products per video and do a makeup look. So let me know down below what else you would like to see reviewed. I'm testing so much makeup right now, but just let me know down below. And yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this fall makeup look using all new makeup. All right, I brought you in closer. Let's get into this fall makeup look using new makeup. So first things first, we're gonna do our brows. It's always, brows first for me. Um, I know a lot of people like to do brows last or whatever. I just like to start with it. So the first thing we're going to use today is this brow gel from Ilia. And this is, what is the full name? They're in frame brow gel and it's just a clear brow gel, which you know, I, well, actually you might not know, but I love a clear brow gel and I'm just going to gel my brows. <laughs> Okay, brow gel is on, waiting for it to dry because it does take a little bit to dry down just because it is more of that classic, more traditional, like true brow gel, like gel texture feeling. So that's something to know, which isn't always my favorite texture of brow gel. I prefer something more pomade-y or something that's a true soap brow, but I do like this brow gel. It has nice hold and it doesn't have like weird white flecky bits that kind of flip, like, flake off throughout the day. Um, but again, from a traditional brow gel perspective, I like something a little bit more on the pomade side. If I do use this brow gel, I always do this brow gel first, then fill in. I do not fill in and then do the brow gel because it ends up, for most brow gels that are this texture, ends up getting messy and then just messing up what I do with the brow pencil. So I always like to prefer to do brow um, gel first then fill in but anyways i digress we need to move on and fill in our brows i'm gonna go on with this one which is one i've talked about before this is the ami cole brow pencil um and i have the shade dark brown and i'm just gonna quickly fill in with this and then we're gonna move on to the next products brows are filled Happy with how that's looking. It's as good as it's gonna get until I get my brows done next week. So next we're gonna just go on with a skin tint really, really quickly. Um, I'm actually, this is not considered um, technically clean. However, it is one that I'm testing out. It's the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin, their skin tint. Um, and I really wanted to see how this kind of measured up to other skin tints in my collection. This is the shade nine. And you guys know, I love to test everything to let you guys know, you know, what measures up to conventional products. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand this is the shade nine and we're just going to do a very small amount all over the face all right now we're going to move on to concealer this is one that i've actually reviewed before but i haven't tried on on this channel this is from iris and romeo and i am putting on the shade seven in their concealer i like to do a very little bit of this at a time because concealer can get away from you quick and I just end up looking crazy. So what I like to do is I like to let this sit for a little bit, not super long, but do like to let it sit. Um, this one really is like, it doesn't move. It has really nice coverage, like a nice medium, medium plus coverage. And it wears super comfortably under the eyes. I'm just a really big fan. So what I'm gonna do is again, let this sit for a second. Then we're gonna blend her out and move on to the cheeks and stuff. All right, we let that sit for like a minute. Now I'm gonna go and blend it out with my finger really quickly. And we're just gonna tap it in. And this is a nice concealer to tap in. 
You can also blend it out with a sponge or a brush, but I really do like just blending it with my finger. It just looks so good. I mean, look at that coverage. Um, I have dark under eye circles. I know it never looks like my circles are that dark, or maybe it does to you, because like I feel like my, they always look bad to me, but, <laughs> but everyone's their own worst critic, right? But um, it does just completely get rid of the darkness that I have under my eyes without being too heavy um, or full coverage, which is really nice for every day. And this is also a nice one to wear when you're not wearing anything. Like I don't feel stressed wearing it alone without a skin tint or something like that or a foundation. Cause sometimes some concealers you apply and you're not wearing a true foundation and you're kind of like, okay, this looks wild. Um, so I love that. Okay, we are concealed. I'm gonna quickly go on with a little bit of a powder bronzer. I'm gonna go on with the Victoria Beckham Beauty powder bronzer. This is the shade 04. This is a great powder bronzer. Um, LYS Beauty has another great one. If you want something that you just grab from the drugstore, I love Physician's Formula. I know technically it's not considered clean, but it's a great option if you're looking for a nice affordable powder bronzer that has like a similar like silky texture to the Victoria Beckham Beauty one. Just so, so good. So I'm gonna take this brush here. This is from Hourglass Cosmetics and this is their dual ended powder brush, I think. And I'm just gonna dip in, not with a lot of, and not with a lot, not too much on the brush. And I'm just gonna dab it on. I just love how this melts into the skin. Um, I don't like to swipe. I like to pat in powder bronzers. I feel like when I don't, pat in, it just ends up patch, like stuff can just look patchy in my opinion. Even if you don't have any foundation or anything underneath, you just wanna avoid patchiness. Actually, maybe you don't, I wanna avoid patchiness. We are bronze, we are looking like we have a life in our body again. I, sometimes I feel like when I'm not wearing bronzer, I look real drab and like dead to the world. Bronzer is just life-changing. So the next we're moving on to blush and I'm really excited about this blush. So this is from Cali Ray Beauty and this is a lip and cheek stain. What is the full name? The, the SoCal Super Bloom Lip and Cheek Hydrating Soft Stain. That is a mouthful. And I got a shade I actually didn't think I was gonna get because I had a different one in my cart and then I changed my mind last minute and I'm so happy I did. I got the shade Dawn Patrol. That's real cute. And it's more of a neutrally ready sun-kissed looking shade. Look at that, it's so pretty. And I feel like it's a really, really good color for transitioning into fall, especially for my complexion. So what I like to do is I like to blend it out on the back of my hand so you can see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a um, blush brush. This is a slanted one from Sephora like Pro is it Sephora Pro? Yeah, I think it's a Sephora Pro and it's 93. Everything's like rubbed off this. And I'm gonna just take a little and I'm going to apply it. Look at the, it's so good. And I'm just gonna apply it lightly. And I like to do a little bit at a time, even with stains. This one does layer up really nicely, which is really nice. And I do like the way that it sits and it doesn't, I feel like sometimes cheek stains can be, I don't know. They don't sit well always on top of different types of products. So they don't sit necessarily as well on top of, let's say a powder. And if I like to wear a powder bronzer, that's a problem. So this one actually does sit really nicely. Um, and the stain isn't so intense that I feel like, oh, whoopsie doopsie, I mean, <laughs> whoopsie doopsie. Whoops, I made a mistake. Like this is very, very nice. And I feel like it just breathes life into my face, which is really nice. And so I used basically all that was on the back of my hand. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. And again, I feel like with everything in life, actually, that's probably not true, but with most things in life, especially makeup, hair, and all of that, a little bit at a time um, and do like light layers. I feel like that is always the key to success when it comes to products, especially blush, because blush can get away from you real quick. But you don't want it to fade too quickly, you know? And I mean, you can just see, I mean, I need to blend it out, the edges out because I look crazy, but you can just see the way that it's layering on top of, you know, layers and layers on top that it just layers so beautifully. And it's not 
getting patchy, which is really nice and something I really enjoy. So then next what I'm going to do, now that it's blended out, and this is how much I've used of whatever's left, I'm gonna take this brush here. This is the Heavenly Luxe number no. seven from It Cosmetics, you know I love this brush. Or actually maybe you don't, but I love this brush. And I'm gonna blend out the edges. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and I'm gonna take this one from Amicole. This is just their translucent powder and I'm going to set the middle of my face and my under eyes and just kind of get some, just mattification, mattification. Just get it mattified a little bit um, because it is, although it's kind of cold outside today, which is life for me, it is warm in here under my lights and I don't want to be too sweaty looking. All right, we're powdered next. We're moving on to the eyes. And I'm very excited about this one because we're talking about a new eyeshadow palette. This one from Kosas. This is their Undressed palette, I believe. Yeah, Kosas Undressed palette. And I will say, I don't love the packaging. It just, I don't know. It kind of falls flat for me um, and feels very juvenile almost. Not in a bad, I mean, juvenile doesn't have to be a bad thing, um, but I kind of was hoping for something a little bit different. But you know what, if, the, if what's inside is good, we can excuse most things. So let's get into the actual palette. So this is the palette. I know a lot of people were upset that this was another neutrals palette, but I do have to say, I, I kind of get it because it kind of feels like a lot of the time you're just seeing neutrals, but every brand needs a neutrals palette if they're gonna come out with eyeshadow. It's just step one because although so many people have neutrals palettes, there's a lot of beginners or people out there that do want neutrals and still want neutrals and they kind of are dedicated to certain brands. So I, I the, uh, the, the outrage kind of surprised me, um, but I kind of get it because there's so many neutral palettes out there, but again, I do think every brand needs a neutral pa neutrals palette. So we're gonna make a fun look with this. So it's mostly mattes, and then you can see here there's one shimmer. Um, it is a darker shimmer so I was, that I was surprised by, but I kind of get it if you want just a one swipe all over the lid, more bronzy eye look, um, but I was surprised it wasn't a lighter shade, but you know what, doesn't bother me. So now we're gonna move on, and I'm going to do First, this shade here called Peak, and I was intrigued by the shade because I do love the lip, or their lip liner that I feel like has been sold out, or maybe they're like reformula, like, can I get words out? Reformulating it, um, but it has been sold out forever, but I did have the lip liner in Peak and really liked it, so I'm gonna dip in. Now, this does have some kick up, but I do like that. Um, just make sure that you kind of like tap off, and if you don't wanna tap it off into the abyss, just tap it back into the palette. Um, so, and I'm just gonna do a little bit here. So I pulled it through the crease and then I kind of pulled it out a little bit as well. Okay, next I'm gonna take um, this shade here called Gaze, which is a warmer tone. And I'm going to play, so I'm doing a mix of cool and warm tones. I don't know how this is gonna come out. I did it the other day and I really liked it. So I'm hoping that I can still have it look cute. So again, I'm dipping into the shade Gaze and I'm just gonna place it kind of further down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Drape here, which is more like true to my skin tone. Um, at least I feel like it is. And I'm going to kind of sweep that across the lid. All right, so then I'm gonna grab this shade here, which is the shade Strip. I'm gonna dip my finger into it and I'm going to focus this shade just on the part of my lid that kind of is below the crease line, if that makes sense. It's a really pretty shade, actually. I'm gonna do a little swatchy poo for you guys here. It is so pretty and it has such a nice sheen to it but it isn't too golden, but it isn't too rose goldy. It has like such a pretty reflect to it, if you can tell. 
Look how pretty that is. I feel like it's not focused. There we go. Look how pretty that is. It just, it isn't too warm. It, it's not go, pulling too cool. I feel like it's gonna look really, really pretty on a lot of different people. So the next one I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, take a little bit of the shade Gaze and a little bit of this shade here. And I'm gonna pull it on my lower lash line lightly, not too, too crazy or anything, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna do Gaze first, which is the more warm tone. I'm dropping things left, right, left and right, warm tone. And we're gonna just pull it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade, um, what this is called, Untie. And we're gonna dip in with that same brush, I'm not, I'm lazy today and I don't wanna to have to clean multiple brushes. So we're just going in with one. We're gonna do a little bit of that and we're going to place it on the outer side, on the outer, not, so like the outer half of my eyes. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a slanted brush, a little brush here and dip into the shade Flaunt, the dark brown. And I'm going to just dip in, make sure there's no fuzzies on this. So we don't get, I've been getting so many fuzzies in my eye lately and I'm, I'm blaming my dog, but I'm pro, pro, like 100% part of the problem. I'm gonna take a little bit and just put it on my lash line. Okay, loving that. Next, we're gonna take this eyeshadow from Jones Road Beauty. I've been loving this. This is their eyeshadow in the shade Dark Brown. And this is a very specific type of brown that I feel like is really hard to come by where it isn't ashy looking, but it isn't too warm. Um, it has like that perfect, if you have my hair color, this is very, it's such a good shade to have in your lash line. Um, and it really matches well without it being too dark and almost black. Cause obviously my hair color is like crazy dark. Um, so it's nice to be able to have something, oh, maybe I just use this, have something I can get really close to my lash line with and just really deepen the um, lash line, but it, it doesn't look too warm, but it also isn't so dark that it's black, if that makes sense. I really like it. And these eyeshadows, the um, Jones Road Beauty eyeshadows, they're, they're, the fallout is like nothing really. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, even the Kosas eyeshadows, although there's a bunch of kick up, when I do use the slanted brush to like put liner on my, close to my lash line, it isn't dropping down my face as you can see like there's nothing that really fell on my face which is amazing because a lot of the time i struggle with stuff like that and the jones road one is very similar in the sense that i don't have to worry about that okay loving that next we're going to go on with an eyelash curler this is the one from shiseido all right we're curled i love curling your lashes is such an underrated thing I swear it makes all the difference. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of setting spray. We're gonna use this one from LYS Beauty. Talked about this before, I like to shake, and um, I really like the setting spray. I was like actually shocked with how much I liked it, and I'm just gonna spray my face. I'm gonna let that dry for a second, then move on to mascara and lips. Be right back. All right, we are mostly dry. I'm gonna go on with the Jones Road Beauty Mascara, which you know is my obsession of life, and I cannot use it enough, it's so good. Just makes my lashes look so dang good. All right, we are good to go. I definitely have mascara all over my lid and on my lower lash line, but I'm gonna scrape it off with a spoolie. Once it dries, I'm gonna just take the back of this and just scrape it off, but I'm looking a little crazy. Next, we're moving on to the lips and I have two new products and they're both from the Lip Bar, a brand that I've been meaning to try and I was very excited to get my hands on these. So I got their lip liner and this is their liquid um, lip, like their lip gloss. And yeah, I'm, I was so excited because the Lip Bar you can buy at, you can, I do believe you can get it at Target. I I'm, could be wrong, but I do believe you can get it at Target. I ordered it from their website, but everything will be linked down below. And this is the Straight Shooter. I think, oh, maybe the name, Straight Shooter is the name of the color. I'll link everything down below. Smudge Proof Lip Liner. And I actually really like this formula. If you are a big fan of, um, look how pretty that is. If you're a fan of the Kim K 
or the ColourPop or um, other lip liners that are kind of, I do believe a lot of them are made in the same factory. Not saying these ones are, but that kind of formula, you'll probably really enjoy this. Or even the Jason Wu Beauty lip liners have a very similar vibe to this. How pretty that is and it just, it just looks so good. And then what I'm gonna do is I actually, I have this lip brush and I'm gonna just kind of smooth it out a little and diffuse it a bit. It's just so good. And then I have this lip gloss from them and this is in the shade Ringleader. Um, and when I first got it, I was like, this is gonna look terrible on me. It need, For me, this needs a lip liner. So we're gonna apply that. And look how pretty that is. Are you screaming? crying and throwing up because i am look how pretty that combo is oh, i just love this lip combo it's just so pretty it gives fall it gives a, just fall winter it, i just love this combo and i actually really like the lip bar product so far so i these are the only ones i've tried from the lip bar but so the lip gloss is great because it isn't too thick or too thin i feel like a lot of people are going to love this formula because of that um and although it is a gloss so of course they're not going to be the most long lasting i do feel like the longevity and hydration is there for a gloss and it pairs these this color combo pairs really well and I was struggling for a really long time to figure out what lip gloss I wanted to get with the lip liner because I don't know, I felt like it was really hard to figure out exactly what stuff looked like, but this combo is great and the lip liner is really nice. It doesn't dry out my lips. It's smoothing and just kind of glides over your lips so you don't have any like tugging or anything like that. Um, and it feels so comfortable all day and it's such an easy, like formula to reapply on top of stuff, but also under stuff. I don't know, I really, really like this. The lip bar products are kind of heroes right now for me because what the heck, why are you so good? These are really, really good. I would love to know, have you tried the lip bar? And if you have, have you tried these? The lip gloss and the lip liner. Let me know your thoughts down below and what else should I try from them? Leave a recommendation because I definitely want to try more of their products now that I've tried some um because they're affordable you can get them at target i believe you can get them at target i feel like i'm lying about that but everything will be linked down below where you can buy it um but yeah i love these products and i would love to know your thoughts down below what do you think of the makeup look what do you think of the eye i want to know your thoughts and yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys